Hey everyone in the news this week. Liam Payne from the band One Direction died this week after falling from a hotel balcony in Argentina. A hotel spokesperson said that was not what they meant when they said they offered express checkout. Although there's been talk of a tribute concert with Madonna singing Don't Cry For Me Argentina, the Rolling Stones singing Jumping Jack Flash followed by Street Fighting Man, and maybe also that song Jump Around by House of Pain. Russell Brand was back in the news. It seems he's become a quasi-Christian spiritualist and is peddling pseudoscientific stuff like crystals and amulets and the like. And one of these offerings supposedly protects you from Wi-Fi and bad energy, especially at airports apparently. And it costs £180 and is therefore the funniest thing he's done in years. England has a new football manager, and this time it's a German, which is somewhat controversial, although to his credit he might bring a lot of expertise when attacking Poland and France, at least as long as the United States aren't in the tournament. And Donald Trump was at the Al Smith dinner, which is a fundraiser, and he gave a fairly good speech. It's really worth checking out. Kamala Harris chose not to attend, although her team did manage to put out an alleged, quote, comedy sketch, unquote, uh, which was about as funny as a bleak Thomas Harvey novel. This is in marked contrast to the other videos released by her campaign, which are accidentally funny, such as the one where she pretends to be a normal person in the grocery store, or the one where her running mate Tim Waltz is shown hunting pheasants with his buddies, although none of them actually has a gun, so I don't know how that's about. Anyway, I'll close out with some of the better lines from Trump's speech. He said he wasn't worried about the white dudes for Trump group because the men's wives and the wives' boyfriends were all voting for Trump. And he said he had to hurry up with the speech and wrap it up because the New York City government was waiting to turn the building into a free illegal migrant shelter as soon as they all cleared out of there. And he also mentioned Kamala Harris's proposed childcare plan and gave her a very sound piece of advice warning her not to let her husband go near any of the nannies this time. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clicks, subscribe.